What's up Terrarians, my name is Cargo and welcome to the new update in Terraria 1.4.2 where we unlock Steam Workshop. I'm so excited to get into this. So if you haven't used Steam Workshop before or you're not familiar with it, I'm just going to show you real quick how to download these new texture packs, language packs, music packs, all the new things that come out in 1.4.2. I can't wait to do adventure levels and even new Terraria golf levels, maybe even feature them here on the channel. It sounds super exciting, I can't wait to see what you the community builds out. But to do so, go ahead and navigate to your Steam store or your Steam client and then go to Workshop. Workshop is where you'll find this page. And then if Terraria doesn't already show up there, you can just search Terraria in here and you will get there from that. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. First off, we see Jim Arns, my boy Jim, uh, his official texture pack. You see Lazures, you see Putraria, you see Dreamscape, all these new texture packs and things like that. A new map, all this amazing stuff already available to you. I already uh, subscribed to Lazure's official texture pack. I'm going to go ahead and do Jim's texture pack. You can actually preview anything over the screenshots. Look at that amazing eye. Cthulhu, Skeletron looks sick. Wall of Flesh looks absolutely terrifying. Skeletron Prime, always terrifying. But you get to see all the kind of new things. I mean, it's up to the, the user who creates the texture pack or whatever the, the thing is for the workshop. How many screenshots they provide and what, they, what type of screenshots. But if you want it, go ahead and hit subscribe. And then it'll start downloading in here, which apparently I need to download Valheim and Risk of Rain. But now that that Terraria Workshop content is fully downloaded, you can launch Terraria and you will start getting that texture pack right into your game. You don't even have to do anything else. There's still the same way that you can uh, download texture packs from like a, a zip folder and then pull it into your texture packs and, and the filing. That's a little bit more complicated. Now it should all be streamlined, easy peasy, should be good to go. But now you can launch Terraria with some amazing new skins. Right, so now that we're in the game, you see that there's a new option in this main menu. You go ahead and hit Workshop, and you can either import worlds, publish worlds, publish resource packs, or use resource packs. And here we're going to go ahead and use resource packs. We're going to use Jim's and Lazure's official texture packs. And then all you have to do is hit Enable. And if you want to disable them, you just hit Disable. And then we're good to go. And that's it. It's going to load. Everything's going to be perfect. We're going to go ahead and get into my journey mode character so that maybe we can look into all, some of the bosses. But I can't wait to see what these texture packs look like. Whoa! Look at the, look at the different... What the? I didn't know they like changed everything. I thought it was mostly going to be like bosses. Stone, dirt, clay, everything looks different. Oh my gosh. The background looks somewhat the same. Oh, look at the backgrounds of the... Holy moly. It's incredible. I actually... It kind of looks like silt. I actually really like the changes. Do the trees look different? I don't think so. But let's go ahead and maybe spawn in the Eye of Cthulhu and see what we can do there. Where am I doing? So I, and maybe for the, whoa, look at the different textures for all of this. Holy, okay, we'll grab one of these. And then I'm actually gonna grab a couple of potions, just a daylight potion or giant potion, there we go. Just so you uh, mobile game can still see this. All right, now that's good. Suspicious looking eye. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, maybe the Zenith is too powerful. I didn't think we would one-shot it. <laughs> okay, I wanted to look at the second phase. Let's do that one more time, and we'll just do that for everything. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love being endgame. Okay, we'll just whip this until it gets to that second phase. Okay. Oh, look at the mini eyeballs. Oh! Imagine your first night at Terraria, and you see this thing coming out of the sky like that. That's incredible. So this is, I think, a part of Jim's texture pack. Definitely something that's really sick. Okay, I'm going to finish that. There we go. I'm going to look at all the bosses. So next up, we're going to have the Eater of Worlds. So I think I need a Wormy Boy. I don't even know if I have a chunk or what is it called? Worm food? Yeah, I don't have worm food. So I need to make that real quick. And then I totally forgot, but we need to actually check out King Slime. So I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to take off one of our armor pieces to make sure that we don't instant murder him. Where you go? I heard you. Ooh, it looks so jelly-like. Whoa, that's amazing. Oh, I love it. And a jump animation. Like, you, like, see the gravity of it? That's actually so cool. Man, I love that. Oh, that looks great. You're dead. <laughs> oh, I love the Zenith so much. I'm so glad we have that. Oh, we never... We don't have a, a duplication for our King Slime Mask. Look at that. We're also making progress in the game. Right, so I actually don't have a Corruption World, and I don't have a Wormy Boy. So I need to fight the Brain of Cthulhu first, and then we'll take a look at the Eater of Worlds. So to start that, we're going to get a Bloody Spine, and I'm going to murder everything. And I'm going to see if this is any different. I don't know what the changes are, so I'm just going to look at all the bosses. Oh, it actually, I don't think it did change anything. Yeah, okay, normal, normal Brain of Cthulhu. We can move on from this. 
All right, next up we have the Eater of Worlds, and I'm gonna see if he has a new skin. And he looks amazing. Oh, he's all skinny. Oh, he's all creepy. He looks like he's starving. Like what a like interesting take, because I mean that I mean his never-ending hunger. It, I mean like that's amazing. I love this texture pack. It's seriously so good. Oh my gosh, they did such a good job with this. Oh, I love that we can now have these. Oh, all right, one last guy. Maybe we'll let my uh, my Star Guardian murder him. Easy peasy. Oh, I love that. That was probably my favorite one so far. Easily. All right, next up, we're going to look at Queen Bee and see if she's any different from the new texture packs. And no, it looks like she's the same. And Queen Bee doesn't have a second phase, so there's nothing that's going to change about her. I forgot she's so aggressive in the, in the surface biome. Okay, moving on, we got Skeletron next. Next up, we have Skeletron and the Old Man. We're going to take a look at this. Oh, 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 look at that. It's beautiful. I need to get rid of one of my sets right here so that the he actually doesn't die. Wow, look at him. He looks amazing. I love this Skeletron head. I'm so glad we didn't kill him just yet. Oh, I remember him being that slow and, and vanilla. But look at that hand. That meaty claw. All right, you're dead. But now, that was amazing. Now we have the wall of flesh, and I'll go ahead and check that out. I forgot my, I took away the, the quick shortcut to throw away my guy. Oh my gosh. That looks incredible. What does this give me? This gives me a, oh, what's that new horror game that came out? It's the same vibe as the wall of flesh. Carry on. That, that is exactly what this reminds me of. That looks amazing. Oh, I love it. It, this is why Terraria is a horror game. I mean, let's be honest. It says Terraria is a horror game. This is it. I'm, I'm terrified. I'm scared. But now we did it. Easy peasy. We're good to go. We can, we're now in hard mode. We can take on hard mode bosses. I can't wait to check out Queen Slime and the mech bosses. Now we have Queen Slime getting ready for us. And where is she? I want to murder her. I want to do it. I want to do the murders. Oh, there she goes. She looks pretty similar. Oh, the, the animation's new. That's pretty spicy. I like that. All right, let's see if I can. Oh, the Zenith Net is not as strong. I'm not one shotting things like I used to. That's good. I want to see the second phase. I feel like second phase is pretty similar. I think there's like slight changes to it. And maybe I'm, maybe there's not actually. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't know. I don't know exactly what these texture packs change. So, but everything looks amazing. That's all I know. That's all I care about. Also, something to note as we're in the hallowed biome, my keyboard is lighting up. Cyan, green, pink, blue, all these different colors. And it's amazing. I wish I could show you guys, but I just tried and it doesn't look good on camera. So, just trust me, it's amazing. I have a Logitech keyboard. I didn't know that they made this integration. I thought it was just with Razer products. So clearly news to me. I don't, maybe maybe I'm just smooth brain, most likely. But also look at these mechanical boss item icons. I, I think I love Skeletron the best. It's amazing. Let's actually do Skeletron Prime right now. What, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna stop us? <gasps> look at him. He's beautiful. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that seriously looks so good. Oh, I love the spiky head. Oh, he's got like a, uh, a mohawk almost. That's amazing. Oh, so good. I can't wait to do a full like let's play through this with these texture packs. Would you guys want to see a full let's play of 1.4 again? I mean, vanilla. We haven't been back to vanilla. Well, I guess it's our hard mode. Hard mode. Hardcore. There we go. Hardcore series, but it's a little bit different. Oh, the destroyer looks so cool. Oh my gosh, it kind of reminds me of like Maldraxxus in the WoW update, if you guys ever played that. Wow, what amazing. Oh, I just want to look at these bosses forever. Do they have, oh, I guess I could go god mode. <gasps> I'm actually going to die of the destroyer. Hang on, I'm going to murder him. <laughs> I actually almost died. Holy moly. Maybe I need a, a heart reach potion. Do I have one on me? I don't think I do. Oh my gosh, incredible. All right, now we're going to look up the twins fight. Man, I, I have high hopes for the twins. Yeah, they look amazing. They look incredible. The They look similar to the phase one Ayo Cthulhu, which obviously makes sense. <gasps> Spaz, you look amazing. Rhett, you look incredible as well, but Spaz is my favorite. I love that look. Just like the mouth part of it is just so... It, it's why Terraria is a horror game. I, I'm going to say that. We now have a horror game on our hands. Wait, now that there's music texture packs... Can we please have someone in the community make like super ominous and like scary music with each boss? And then like maybe even like some like jump scare sounds. 
you know? It's like, can you change sounds for uh, different for different NPCs and different enemies? Like, what if a zombie, like, like screamed or something like that, you know? That would be pretty sick. Alright, now we're going to look at Plantera, but I just want to say that I made this world when I had, like, 600 hours in Terraria, and I hadn't played Terraria in, like, seven years, and it was, like, right when 1.4 came out, I had been playing for a little bit before that, and I was pretty still, like, newbie at the game, like, I didn't really know a whole lot. This is how big my Plantera arena was. I mean, like, for, for the size of that arena, like, I can't believe I actually beat this on Master Mode. Like, that is insane. What was I thinking? I'm an animal. But now we're going to do it again with full gear. Plantera, I think, looks the same, actually. I'm going to quickly just get her to second phase. Yeah, second phase looks the same. I'm not seeing anything different. Yeah, I don't think Plantera was changed in this one. But now, we're actually super close to our golem arena. And do we have the altar still in here? I think we do. Yeah, the lizard altar's still there. So I'm going to make my way down here. Is there a thing that you're most excited for as you come to, uh, or as 1.4.2 is updated? Is there something like that you really are excited for? I remember a game raider checked out a um, an adventure map for... Oh, what was it? Why can't I think of the name? It's like the super long, scary, creepy guy who like teleports everywhere, and you have to get notes. Slenderman. Oh my gosh, my brain. It is like 7 a.m., so I just woke up like an hour ago. I haven't finished my coffee. Maybe that's why. All right, but we also need a lizard cell. Are you, is this a cell? Yeah. I never spell lizard correctly, like ever. Okay, let's take a look at this. Golem, you look different, right? Slight difference, maybe? Wait, can I turn on god mode, actually? Hang on, I'm gonna, I just don't want to take damage. Oh, we're god mode enabled. All right, yeah, so I don't take damage anymore. I feel like he looks different. I can't tell. He looks more detailed. Yeah, he's definitely different. Yeah, it looks insane. You can see, like, the vines on him and everything. That has to be different, right? Am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy. Maybe a little bit. Now we got Duke Fishron. And we'll go ahead and murder him real quickly. Where this is gonna be more of the mob optional boss fights, like an Empress of Light and whatnot. Oh, he looks a lot cleaner. Oh, look at him. He looks shinier. What a guy. Look at him. He's so cute. Aw. Duke Fishron. Is he supposed to be a cat? Am I just now, like, looking at that? He kind of looks like a pig cat flying sea monster. You know what I mean? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going crazy. Alright, third phase is actually gonna scare me, so I'm just gonna murder him third phase as soon as possible. Look it up. Oh, is he not going to get into third phase? Barely. Does he look any different? I don't think so. All right, you're dead. Oh, wait, did we get the pork? Yeah. All right. I know he's a pig, guys, okay? Before you roast me in the comments, I know he's not a cat, but it, there were some cat features. I don't know. It looked like he had whiskers. Maybe maybe I'm just going crazy. Next up, we're going to go ahead and fight the Empress of Light. Should we do a daytime and fight as well? We'll start off doing nighttime. Oh, I did not mean to do that. When I was first getting getting back into this world, I kept flying everywhere because I was like, oh, I don't have the uh, the NPC or the alchemist to start teleporting to different biomes. Totally forgot pylons were a thing. I don't know how I forgot that, but um, I am now forgetting what this thing is called. Prismatic Lacewing. There we go. We did it. We're doing it. I don't have the guide to uh, critter companionship, so that's good. If that's what it, that's even called, I don't even know. Change it to nighttime. We got dusk. We got a blood moon. Let me just skip this again. Boom, Blood Moon is ending. And right now we're back at dusk. <laughs> I love that so much. Murder this guy. And Empress of Light looks the same. Yeah, she she's pretty similar. She might be brighter. Maybe it's just nighttime. I'm so used to fighting her in the daytime. I'm always like, did they make her brighter? Did they change her? And no, they didn't. It's just me. Okay, we almost killed her. Easy peasy. And she is, I don't even know why I'm trying to dodge anything. She's dead. We did it. Woo. What did we get? I had never used a starlight. I really want to get the starlight in a melee playthrough and like actually use it properly. That'd be sick. And I've never had the mask before. The mask looks sick. It kind of reminds me of the ninja one. Uh, oh, with the star guardian armor, it actually looks so cool. What? Oh my gosh. I'm totally using this. That's amazing. It looks so good. I can't get over it. Okay, let's let's uh, let's move on to the other bosses. All right, now we have the lunatic cultists. They look the same. 
They don't look any different, so we'll murder him. Oh, yeah, this boss doesn't look any different. We'll murder the lunatic cultist as soon as possible. Xylus should be, like, basically one shot him as soon as he teleports. Oh, actually, he has a, he has a good chunk of health. Not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be easier. I mean, it's easy. You know, it's, it's not scary. But I did want to look... Oh, we got the, the trophy as well. Look at that. I did want to look at the, the pillars real quick to see if they have any skin changes. I'm not going to be looking at any of the mobs or uh, the extra events or anything like that. But I am... Let me just check this out real quick. So that's already up. Personal menu. Why can't I think this? There we go. So we'll bump this up real quick just to see... No, everything looks the same. Okay, so I, I don't need to check out the other pillars. I just wanted to make sure that this was good. All right, so now we're gonna check out Moon Lord, and we finally beat all of the pillars. It took like 15, 20 minutes still, even though we have the Zenith, the amazing Terra Prisma, my Star Guardian armor and everything. Okay, so Moon Lord, you look the same. You don't look any different. That's okay. So we'll just murder Moon Lord. We'll just take a second, you know, just relax, because Moon Lord fight is uh, easy when you're a god mode. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I love that we don't take damage. It's seriously the best thing ever. I, like, Terraria's, like, journey mode is probably one of the best creative experiences I've ever had with anything. Well, everyone, that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, Skelly Manhan, slap that like button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the 1.4.2 update. I can't wait to see all the new adventure maps. I keep saying it, but it's going to be so, so cool. And I just, I, I love it. I, I can't wait. I, I'm, I'm so excited to play 1.4 vanilla again, you know. And then Team On Loader is going to be coming out with 1.4 soon. I mean, soon is in like, it could be like three years from now. I actually have no idea. But I can't wait for that. There's so many things to look forward to with Terraria. And who knows? Terraria 1.5, I know you're not far away, you know? I know you say there's no more updates, but I'm still hoping, okay? I wanna have, I'm gonna hold out one little piece of hope. I wanna hold it for the entire community, okay? It's just gonna be me, but that's all right. Uh, remember to stay awesome, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.